what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so i have some new goodies from my cart today they just launched some new acrylics so i'm super excited to show you guys these i know we've all been asking my cart for acrylic for a long time so they finally launched their acrylic line these are actually um two in one dip powder and acrylics um i received six different shades to show you guys so i'll be showing you the swatches in a few but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox the powder and show you what it looks like. So these are what the jars look like. They say McCart and they are one ounce jars with the names at the bottom. Um, like I said, I'll show you the swatches in a minute. Um, but I also received the Your Nail Lab March subscription box, which is also a collab with Christina Couture here on YouTube. I really like her channel. Um, I used to watch it way back before I even decided to like make a channel. Um, she was known for like doing her um, like curved nails and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, in the box you get like a full size bag of stiletto tips. Um, I really love those tips. Um, they're like extra long ones and they come pre-shaped. These are the ones that I normally always use. So I'm happy I got like more of those in this subscription box. There's like 500 pieces in there. And you also get some butterfly decals. There's a lot in this little package. There's eight sets. So you have like all different kind of really pretty like butterflies and they're kind of like metallic and like shiny and they have like a color shift to them they're so pretty i couldn't even decide <laughs> which ones i wanted to put on my nails like literally wanted to put them all um so yeah this um subscription box also comes with um three different powders um two of them are the same ones as i just showed you but there's one new shade in here called sweet and sparkling there's also two um gel polishes in here one of them is a purple shade called lavender and the other one is a blue shade called sky blue and these are eight milliliter and you also even get some little cute um butterfly stones in here and some ab rhinestones um so yeah these are actually the swatches i did off camera we'll talk about how they perform and everything um farther along in the video but i'm gonna name you the colors from left to right so we have sugar white pink go um nude squared um, clear nor and then we have the shade from the um, subscription box called sweet and sparkling and then the two um, gel polishes which are lavender and sky blue um, so I'll leave the links to everything down in the description box with my discount code you can get 15% off if you want to purchase the acrylics or if you decide that you um, just want to like subscribe to the subscription box um, and test them out or whatever um, because it's like a monthly subscription box so you'll receive like whatever's in this month's subscription box so if you want to like do that and test them out you can so yeah just check the links down below anyways let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial right now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my dehydrator and primer i did prep my nails off camera i do have a little bit of some madam glam um base shell on my nails um i had filed it down um, because i usually keep that underneath my set so i have something to fall down to and it helps to keep my nails strong so i don't like keep soaking them off and you know making them brittle and stuff um so yeah it's so i can keep these videos going but yeah i'm going to be using this mccart acrylic brush with glitter in it this came with one of their subscription boxes um a while ago um i'll try to find it on the website if i can link it if you're interested in it but i'm going to be using this to apply the tip color to the nails just because it's like a really small brush and i'm doing stilettos um so i feel like um it's just like the perfect size so the acrylic won't run all over the place so i'm actually using that shade nude square which is like a nude shade but it does have a slight like peach tint to it which i really like it's like perfect for spring um, so I'm kind of going to be doing a pastel type of spring ombre and I felt like this shade and that other pink color called pink go um, went perfectly together especially when they're blended it's like such a light um, pretty like pastel ombre I don't know something about it I really like like these color combinations lately I've been loving um, so yeah, I'm applying this color to the tip of the nail and now with these acrylics They are slightly like a little bit runny. Um, so what I do to work with them um, I kind of just work in smaller beads because I feel like I can control the acrylic better um, So like 
that's something you would want to do if your acrylic's too runny or you could kind of like um, drain the liquid out of the back of your bead um, but other than that they work pretty good um, they work like most like affordable acrylics um, most affordable acrylics um, are uh, just a tad bit like runny um, but nothing like major you know um, I am using Mia Secret Monomer, by the way. I always use Mia Secret Monomer with, like, everything ever since I started doing nails. It's, like, affordable, and, yeah, I don't know. I just took a liking to it anyway. Um, but, yeah, see, if you don't, like, um, drain the liquid out of your bead and you put it on the nail, it can tend to, like, puff up and, like, go off to the side. So, yeah, I had to catch it really quick. So just be careful with that. I do feel like these um, type of powders would also be really good as um, dip powders because like the powder is super like finely milled. So if you're somebody who doesn't really like acrylic, they would definitely be great as like dip powders. So yeah, now I'm going in with that shade Pink Go. And again, I'm gonna be adding small beads at a time of this one because I found that this color did marble just a little bit not too much um mainly like up by the cuticle area so i'm going in with like smaller beads to try to like even out the color um this acrylic does set like pretty fast um that's the thing it's like a little bit runny but it does set like pretty fast so you do kind of have to work fast it's a little bit challenging but i got the hang of it eventually i did switch my brush to my regular um beauty galleria brush just because i felt like um i was able to pick up more product with it the other brush is really good for like getting in those small areas or doing like marble designs that's what i like to use it for but like i'm pretty like advanced when it comes to acrylic so i use like a bigger brush um it would be perfect size for beginners i'm not sure if they have any other sizes on their website i will go ahead and look for you guys um, but yeah, as you can see, it just marbles like a little bit. You might want to do like a little shake to the jar. I didn't actually try that, but that could be like a quick fix for that issue too. Um, I did find that like by adding like the beads here and there, um, it was a tad bit bulky by the cuticle area. So I did just have to do like a little bit extra filing, but it wasn't anything too crazy. But these two colors blend together like a dream. Um, so the first bead that I usually put down, um, I try to get it like almost up to the cuticle and then when I blend it, I kind of blend it where the tip and the natural nail meet and then just add in the beads to like kind of, you know, fix the color like I said because it marbled or whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I'm using the clear. 
Um, and like I said, the nails did get a little bit bulky by the cuticle area because I had to go back and add like more of the pink here and there to like even out the color. Um, and then adding the clear on top of that to encapsulate it um, kind of really bulk them up a little bit more. But like I said, it's nothing like a little filing can't fix, but with ombre nails, you do have to encapsulate them. Um, because you don't want to file through the blend when you go to file shape and buff because that will obviously ruin the design usually you want to keep your layers as thin as possible before you go and encapsulate them so that you don't have that bulky issue by the cuticle area um, so yeah that's the only thing but i feel like this color would be really good maybe for like marbles or something maybe not where you have to like add so much of it by the cuticle area um like i said i don't really know how it performs if you give it like a good shake so that might help but anyways i was still able to work with it um so to encapsulate the nails i usually do a three bead method and then kind of like look at the nails and see if i need to add in any more acrylic um so my first bead i usually put it right where the smile line is and I um, use that to build up the free edge of the nail. And my second bead, um, I use that to start building my apex. So I place it right where the tip and the natural nail meet. Um, and I kind of like focus the acrylic in that area and don't brush it down too much just to blend it into the tip a little bit, but not too much. And then my cuticle bead, um, I place that right above that bead and just blend it over that to build my apex and I usually get like a pretty good apex and the nails are fully like built up like perfectly and like I said you can always look at your nail and check to see if you need to add in any more acrylic um, that's what I usually do sometimes I do have to add like an extra bead or two um, that's just how nails are like sometimes it just doesn't come out perfect you do have to be the judge of like how much acrylic you need based off the length of your nails though um, that's something you kind of just learn as you do nails basically i pretty much know like how much i need because i always do my nails this length um and i've been doing this for a while
So now that the nails are dry, I'm going to go ahead and shape them up. So right now I'm going to debulk the nails. I usually like to do this first. Most of you know that if you watch my channel um, because I like to take the bulk off and do my shaping last so I get a sharper shape. So right now I'm smoothing over the nail. I'm using a fine grit um, safety bit and I'm trying to get the cuticle area down as much as I can. Like I said, it was a bit bulky back there. So I'm really taking down the cuticle area with this bit. And I'm actually going to be going in with another bit like a um, sanding band to further like try to get the cuticle area down some before I go in with my cuticle bit because the cuticle bit is like the last step where I go ahead and seal everything so I don't get lifting so I really want um, this acrylic to be as flush to the cuticle area as possible before I do that otherwise it's going to look weird and like bulky and yeah I don't know it'll look strange if you know what I mean so yeah I'm also going along the sides of the nail with my drill to like taper in the sides um, and like redefine the shape before I go in with my hand file this helps so that you have like less hand filing to do um, after you like debulk and stuff And now I'm going to go in with my mandrel bit and a zebra um, sanding band. This is a 180 sanding band. Um, I've been really loving the zebra ones lately. I bought these like two weeks ago to try them out. And I really like them because not only do they take down product, but they also buff the surface of your nail. So you don't have to go in with a buffer after you shape up your nails. So it kind of like saves time and money too. So you don't have to like buy buffers. Um, these are actually linked in my Amazon store under like nail prep. Um, so definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, and I also have a new cuticle bit that I've been using. It's a ceramic one from Panna. I'll have that linked in my Amazon store as well. Um, but I really love um, this new cuticle bit. It takes off like like that extra dead skin and cuticle and whatever product like so fast and you don't even have to have it on a high speed. The last one I was using from Dashboard Beauty, it was like a metal cuticle bit and it really didn't take down a lot of product. Um, and it just like took longer to work with. I feel like this new one that I got is like a lot more effortless. Like it just takes the product off with that little effort, which is what you want. You don't want like, um, you know, a lot of things that are going to, take up your time when you're doing nails because they already take a long time so it's kind of like a work smarter not harder thing so yeah this is actually the cuticle bit i'm using it on a low speed um, and i'm making sure to like keep moving around the cuticle area and not stay in one spot for too long to cause damage to the natural nail but as you can see it takes off products so nice and i love how small and like the little point is so you could really fit in between um like the cuticle area and the artificial nail and just clean around there and it really helps to seal nicely around the cuticle area it's like got a real nice grit on it but it's also gentle and yeah i just really love it and i highly highly recommend it this is like my new go-to you guys are going to see me using this like in every video now i finally purchased a cuticle bit and i hope not to break this one like i broke my other two that i really liked
Now I'm going to go ahead and shape up the nails. I'm using a 100 180 grit nail file and since these tips come pre-shaped I didn't have a lot of work to do. I'm kind of just redefining the shape. Um, so I'm holding my file and to get that stiletto shape you want to hold your file straight at an angle and file in towards the tip and kind of just like round off the tip at the edge so they're not like super sharp to where you're going to be like stabbing yourself or like poking holes through your clothes unless that's the type of vibe that you're on um so yeah i'm doing that and i'm also filing underneath the nail to get out like anything that's hanging off the bottom of the nail because you definitely don't want that showing in your end result um like i said i don't have to buff these nails because i went over them with the zebra sanding band um my camera did cut off when i was about to file the pinky but you get the point i do the same thing for like every single nail To finish everything up, I'm going to go ahead and apply the butterfly stickers. And sorry I was like a little bit out of frame. Sometimes I get in the zone when I'm filming and like I forget that like I'm not in frame. Um, but yeah, basically what you want to do is take some tweezers um, and peel them off slowly so that they don't rip. And when you place them on the nail, just smooth them out with your fingers so that they're flat on the nail and there's no like edges poking up. Um, because when you top coat them, you want them to be as flat as possible so that you can't see that they're like, you know, stickers or anything or like they like pop up through the top coat. You want them to be flat to the nail. Um, so yeah, I'm just like picking random ones, like really colorful ones, like from like every different one I can. And I'm placing two on each nail. And then after this, I'm going to apply some bling like in between the butterflies and at the tips of the nail just because I felt like they looked a little bit plain and they needed something. So I'm going to be using the AB rhinestones from the subscription box to do that. I'm going to be using like miscellaneous sizes. Um, and my camera actually died when I got to the other nails, but I only showed one, but I do the same thing for every nail. So what I used to apply the bling was um, some McCart, um rhinestone gel and then I went over it with top coat and then I just placed my rhinestones right into the gel like you see me doing now and I cured for 60 seconds and that is pretty much it. Um, I really love the way they turned out. I really love these butterflies. I think they're gorgeous and the acrylics are so pretty as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like or a comment. I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because I post nail tutorials and reviews every week so you don't want to miss out. Also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.